Okay, it's been about half an hour since I uh, fire, first fired it up. I've gone, filled the boiler uh, with wood uh, three times, I think, just small seven or eight inch pieces of split wood. And I'm going to, and we're up to almost 100 pounds. And the pop off valve will pop uh, to keep the pressure down here any second if I don't uh, let some of it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to take off the blower because it's not needed right now. Just put it off to the side over here and let it cool on its own while it's still running. And um, the other thing is okay, so we want to run the injector first because the pressure has to be above 80 pounds to get that to work. So I'm going to play with the valve here until I get it to function. coming up the plastic tube but it takes a, a fine adjustment to get it to do that it doesn't always work the first time it's too much steam just doesn't work there see it's coming out now and I've just kind of got it pouring back into the pot all right and then if I just give it a little bit more valve Turn it down. Now it's drawing into the boiler. You can see the cup is emptying here. Okay. So it's about 80 pounds. I'm going to start that. I'm just going to shut it off now with the valve here. Now on the engine, I've got the blowdown valves open. Um, those blowdown valves are right here and here. It's uh, water will get inside the cylinder and you don't want to break the piston. So you've got it when you turn on the steam to it, you know, some water might come out of that. Now give the flywheel a little bit of a pull because it's not at dead center. So there's no water coming out, so I can close those off now, the pop the blowdown valves. Water pump. As I said earlier, there's a water pump down here, and it will water pump water. But uh, I need to get some oil into the cylinder right away. This is you, know, you got to use steam oil on these things. So this is what I call my kind of emergency oil intake. On the top of the cylinder here. Like this, it's running kind of dry, so I'm just going to put a little bit of oil, you know, just a couple of squirts or a squirt of this. It's a steam oil. You got to have steam oil. You can use other oil, but it just doesn't. It gets hot and it gets real thin and doesn't do anything unless it's steam oil that you're using. So now that I've got some oil in the cylinder, I can fire it back up again. Water into the boiler. 
this valve here kind of uh, shows that it's uh, definitely is pumping. You can hear the engine speed up. And it will also slow down. But now it's pumping water into the boiler, which has a lot of pressure. And you can see my water in the boiler has gone up quite a bit because I've been pumping. You don't have to have water in it all the time. You gotta, you know, regulate the amount of water into it. So like from here, you might want to have a hose coming over to the return. So when the, when it gets enough water in it, it can still continue pumping, but it just goes back into your tank. I don't have that hooked up right now, but it just takes a hose. And there are oilers here, which you don't use steam oil on them, you just use regular motor oil on all these bearings. They'll, the eccentrics here, these two eccentrics, will need oil occasionally. And there's oil coming out of the engine here, you can see, which is normal. You know, it just it lubricates a lot of stuff down there too. And a little oiler here helps a little bit once in a while. This is interesting here, this is the exhaust right here for the engine so it goes up out comes out of the exhaust of the engine and goes up into the stack and creates a draft up in the stack which helps pull the fire up through the fire tubes and of course I'm going to disconnect that when I ship it so um, you'll just have to reconnect that and I'll probably take the antique whistle and uh, hide it inside the boiler firebox and I'll wrap it up in a cloth and anything else I think somebody might steal or get damaged in shipping. Of course this water glass here is fragile but I don't want to disturb it when I ship it and take it off. I don't want to take it off. You know. That's about it. The top off valve should have about it.